guys, today we've got here the Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. This is the smaller version, not the UCS version, but it's pretty awesome. Um, it has a thousand twenty-three pieces. This is the instruction manual, being pretty thick, having around um, two hundred forty-ish pages, and it's pretty awesome. Definitely a cool set to buy. It's set number seven. 5292 and let's head to the minifigures. This set has five minifigures, including the Mandalorian, Grief Karga, IG-11, a Scout Trooper, and of course, Baby Yoda. Here's the Mandalorian, figure number one. So, the Mandalorian looks pretty nice. His helmet is darker than the other versions of the Mandalorian. The helmet is the same as the UCS Razor Crest, I believe. His head is simply going to be Blackhead, not, not a surprise there. And there's his old rusted out um, armor right there with a nice leg printing there. And this is his incinerator, incinerator gun. It's a nice gray cape back there. Pretty cool like that. And of course he's going to have a, a back printing. Next up we've got the 50 year old baby. Commonly known as Baby Yoda. Now Baby Yoda looks pretty cool. Um, he's very tiny, of course, about this big. The same size as, um, a thumbnail, maybe. He has one little torso printing, nothing in the back there. And the head is made out of rubber. It's a pretty cool figure. Um, I hear it's going around for $7 some places. And next up is Grief Karga. Here's Grief Karga. His torso is, has some red in there, but... He's got a little cape printing, it looks like. Comment if I'm wrong about that. And it looks pretty nice right there, and no leg printing, which was actually surprising on Lego's part. There is the back, all red. It feels like, it looks like a sticker, but it's, it's printing. Oh, it even feels like it, that's weird. But it looks pretty nice back there. His face is kind of... It's gonna look like the new Lando's face, kind of. His hair being like the the Finn's hair, but not exactly. And his other face is, of course, going to be a mean, dis unsatisfied face right there. But it looks pretty cool. I'm glad that the Razor Crest included Grief Karga. And next up is going to be IG-11. And here is the Razor Crest. And it's it's a very nice build, a lot bigger than I actually anticipated it would be. It's an Amazon and Lego exclusive, I believe. Sorry. And um so you can only find it there. You can't really find it at the stores unless if it's at like a Walmart um warehouse where they bought it off Amazon or something. The front looks very nice right here. Pretty plain and simple. Looking like that. Now the cockpit, they did it kind of weirdly, but I do appreciate it because it's easy to take off. It just slides off like that. Kind of need to pull it off like that. And it has little clips right there. But it attaches to a different type that you wouldn't really expect, but it actually goes in pretty well. And there you can fit the Mandalorian. If you take off his weapon, you can just store his weapon right here. And then you can place the Mandalorian right, right in there. Has a red, um, red seat. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but still, it is what it is. And then, if you want to, you can place Grief Karga or, or even Baby Yoda. He can fit on one stud back there. He can fit on one stud back there, but you can place him there. And you can slide in the cockpit, and he fits in very easily. And by perspective, that's a cockpit and that's a Mandalorian, so that's 
really what the size of the cockpit is, and it's a pretty good size. Sorry, and like the micro fighter. <coughs> there's here are the guns right here. It's gonna be a basic technic brick style. And here you can pull this down, and there's interior right there. It's a nice sticker right there. Very nice. And I believe that's a bed right there where you can place whatever you need to. Maybe grief cargo this time. Oh, there's his other gun. I was wondering where that went. You can put him on the bed. And there is some studs so that when you're flying around, he doesn't get a... Uh... Yeah. Wait, on the other side is just that right there. Some interior right there that, where you can place your troopers if needed. Right here, there's a... Sorry. Right here, there's a nice sticker right there. Can't really see inside there. It's kind of dark. Lighting is very important. Can, you can kind of see in interior. It could act as a ramp if you need to get away. Can't really see it that well. Apologize for that. And here's another one right here. Just interior where you can place your troopers if going out to war, for example. And here you can use as a basic ramp if you need. Probably more use for a ramp. But it's very nice how it, there's so much interior in the inside. I think it's it was a very good, uh, it was very good that Lego added that. Now you can just pull it up like that, and more interior, but more importantly, uh, carbonite. All the people that the Mandalorian has in carbonite right here. There's actually two, but um, yeah, they look pretty basic in detail. They do look very nice. Han Solo and Carbonite also for sure looked better, but it was the best that they could do. Cheap. And you can just slide it back in there. It's very hard. Hold up. Anyway, it just fits right in there. Hard to put in, actually. To be honest. There's... And then... Sorry. Now, let's look at the detail. The top of the ship looks very nice. It looks very nice like that tail coming out. Um, here's something else you can do. You can, you can put whoever you want to in this escape pod. It just pops right off, hopefully. Uh, it can fit anybody. As long as you're not, like, Pyther or something cool like that. But then you can just place it down on one little stud. There's the interior right there. You can kind of see that. It's in a it's a little escape pod. Now another play feature right here is the, the um spring loader shooter, of course. So you just push down on this. It should fire. So one, one moment's there, one next it's gone. The sticker details look very nice. Lego did a good job in adding those. And the engine actually looks amazing. Very hard to build, actually. Very tedious. Um, it just has a little basket there where you can just put fire on the end of it. Attach it to there. The sticker detail looks very nice. It's also there's a good detail that they added right here. Very tedious, again, to build. Um, it looks pretty cool. I would definitely recommend this. I believe it's retiring either this year or in two years, or one year, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but since LEGO retailers don't know this information because they don't sell it, we um, won't know until it's out of LEGO stock. We'll find out someday. Um, well... I would say that it overall look is amazing. Um, 
I would definitely recommend this set. If you have um, 100 spare dollars, 120 spare dollars, I believe, is how much you can get it off Amazon. Other places charge more, like Walmart. You can't find it in the store, but like you can order it off Walmart. They charge like 200. But besides those prices, I would definitely recommend this set. Definitely a getter. Wait. Definitely recommended by me. Um, yeah, that concludes this episode or review. And we'll see you next time.